Probably one of the reasons that you clicked this video is because you have experienced pain when a fellow Christian came to you and gave you criticism that was not constructive or came to you and gave you criticism but the criticism was packaged in a way that was painful and hurtful. In this video, I'm hopefully going to share with you something that is going to be useful to you as you give other fellow Christians criticism so that you don't have other people experiencing the same pain that you have felt. So keep watching. Ladies and a few gentlemen that watch these videos, welcome to my channel. My name is Nintendo Melody Kanguru, and this is a platform for people that are ready to partner up with God in intentionally designing the Christian lifestyle they love to live in. I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel, and if this video is useful to you at any point in time, make sure that you like it and consider sharing it with a friend that you know might need it. So let's quickly get right into today's topic. Now the first thing that I've discovered in my own Christian walk is that there is absolutely nothing that is done right if it is done outside of love. Love has to be the foundation of every and any Christian gesture. So the first thing that I want to give as advice is you have to examine yourself as somebody that is giving someone else criticism. Are you coming from a place of love? Is love your foundation? You see, the Bible actually says that anything that is spoken outside of love is like a noisy gong. The person that is receiving it is going to be irritated, they're going to be distracted, they're literally just not going to get any value out of what you're going to say. So you have to truly examine yourself and ask yourself, is, is my criticism really coming from a place of love? Second thing that you really have to search from deep within yourself is, am I being compassionate towards the person that I'm about to offer criticism to? You see, compassion is taking yourself and placing yourself in the shoes of the person that is about to receive your message. That really encourages you to then package that message in a way that you would like to also receive it. Compassion truly feels and it truly steps itself in someone else's shoes. You gotta ask yourself questions like, if I didn't have the knowledge that I have, and if I didn't have the exposure that I have, or if I didn't have the experience that I have at this moment that gives me the framework from which I'm about to criticize someone, would I act the way that I am expecting this person to act? I've learned that after you ask yourself that question, it's very, very easy for you to step out of a place of love and enter into a conversation with the person you're about to approach from a true place of great concern and constructive criticism. Third thing that I want to advise you is use kindness as your basis. We can talk. Some of us literally have professions that allow us to talk and to conversate with people on a daily basis. We are skilled communicators, but are we compassionate and kind communicators? I'm hoping that you are about to give criticism to the person, this person because you're in a relationship because once again, a very good nugget is if you don't have a relationship with somebody that you're about to criticize, it is highly likely that you're about to offend them. You could never truly approach the person that you're in a relationship with the same way you would approach somebody that's in a boardroom or the same way that you are approaching somebody that you want to do business with. Now let's talk about tools. Look, as a Christian, the best tool that you can use while you're criticizing someone is the Word of God. Take your opinions out of the question. <laughs> Take your feelings out of the room. Use the basis of the Word of God to criticize the person that you want to hopefully constructively build up. See, if you can't justify it with the word, then you're likely tackling this issue from a place of feeling, or you're tackling this from a place of culture, or your own personal background and experience, and you're truly not representing God. Something that I've also found to be a great tool while you are giving criticism is relating with the person that you're giving constructive criticism to. People want to know that you relate and that you understand even if you do not agree with what they are doing. Build your criticism on the basis of understanding. Look, I get you. I know where you're coming from. I know how you would possibly believe that the way that you are acting is helpful. But here is what the Word of God says. Here is something very powerful that I also want you to know. I want you to know the power of words. 
And I want you to know the power of standing in front of someone who has willingly and voluntarily lended you their ears. They've respected you enough to open up to you so you can speak into them. So respect the moment. In fact, respect it enough to pray about that incident before it happens. Prayer is so powerful. It can help curate and literally create an atmosphere that is conducive to constructive conversation. You can never underestimate the power of prayer before you speak to someone about something that you are not happy about. Finally, I just want to say divorce yourself from judgment. People need love more than they need to be judged. So try love people and try to be less judgmental with people and you will notice that the more you give criticism, the more the criticism will be accepted. I'm hoping that this video has been great value to somebody that is hopefully planning on giving constructive criticism to someone else or that has been through a situation where somebody might have been offended uh, with the way that you have packaged your criticism. This could have been um, something that shed a bit of light to you. If this video has been helpful, please thumbs it up, like it, um, share it with somebody that you know needs it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I highly encourage you to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.